Hey everyone, I have no new updates for the Fireblade for you guys as of yet, but what I do have for you is this enclosed trailer. I bought this trailer before I got the 954, and I bought this trailer to help store some of the motorcycles that I have because I have six of them. Anyway, this trailer I picked up used for $1600. It was a great deal for what is out there at the time, and it mainly just needed some TLC. And as you guys know, I'm not afraid of a little TLC, especially for a good deal on a project. It has this uh, electric thing that lifts it up <laughs> top box or whatever box right there brand new wheels and tires side I have a let's see there's a little light right here doesn't work that great but there they are it has a battery in it battery and inverter and all that other stuff it has an electric winch right here the tie downs the wheel chalk came with two extra rooms too Actually, three technically. Has a uh, cabinet right here, lockable. Has a little window or vent, whatever. Aluminum ramp. It is the uh, the type that opens out like this, and so it's not the ramp one, but it's fine. Pretty cool. I hate owning anything in a condition like this trailer, so my goal with this project is to clean everything and repaint it. Yes, I will be repainting this trailer, and I will also be adding a couple little things onto it like a solar panel. Because my goal with this trailer is to use it as a cheap storage solution, because my bike collection has been getting a little bit out of control lately. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to talk much in this video, just going to let my work do the talking for me. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll make sure I chime back in at the end of this video to give you guys a little bit more insight in my final thoughts. Anyway, I hope you enjoy.
Alright, things are really starting to take shape now. The trailer is fully painted, now I just need to put it in place. Uh, right next to my shed should be a great spot. After doing a lot of tiring yard work, I finally have the trailer in place. Oh, and my father built me a ramp, which was a huge help, as I don't plan on ever moving this trailer unless I decide to sell it. So the way these solar panels work, I got the one panel up here, and I just kind of have this temporary hole for now. I'm going to eventually caulk it and make it watertight, but for now I just got this tape over it. And a little rack behind it <laughs> but here we go the wires go like this i have them all uh, zip tied up and pushed against the back wall there runs all the way up into into this controller right here the blinking just means that it's charging and it goes all the way down to the battery and i also have from the battery a little voltmeter so i can see basically just a number on the solar panels 13.8, that's pretty good. It usually goes from 12.8 to 14.8, uh, somewhere around that range, usually. And also, I have up here, if you follow this wire, it goes up in there, and it goes to this power inverter, which goes right into that power strip. And I can plug anything in here. I can put, I can put uh, power tools, anything. And also, I have the light right here. Turn that on. Lights. Perfect. Also have this cabinet right here, which showed you that earlier. Some shelves over there. Yeah, pretty good. All right, guys, that's it. This is a one-stop video. I'm still waiting on more parts for the Fireblade project, but at least now I have a solid place to store my CBRs. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh